Hello all, how are we doing? Sam at SBR Caravan Centre, back with a brand new vid on this Swift Mazelle. This one's a 38 by 12 3 bed from 2008 and it's got double glazing and it's priced at 14865 I mention it every now and again, as with all our caravans, we do gas electric water testing. We can do various bits and pieces to clean them up. They all get cleaned inside and washed off on the outside. Three month warranty, free delivery to the nearest accessible point. We'll do an access check, make sure we know where it's going to go and that it's going to fit. And then we can provide sighting and extra charge. Any questions about anything that we can do, give us a shout. And there's often bits and pieces that we do throughout the caravans that people don't even realize once they've got them. Also bits extra we can do like carpets, vinyl, cupboard doors, things like that. So if you've got any questions, just ask away. So we're in this Mazelle. I um, always like these Swift Mazelles, to be honest. They're just a nice layout, um, nice modern feeling caravan. You can see on the right hand side here, we've got a fixed L shape wraparound sofa, um, which is a deep sofa with, uh, it's got a back into it. But then it's got these large plumpy cushions to uh, relax against. And then we've got a two-seater sofa, which is under the front window. I think that's freestanding, but obviously it matches the uh, bit to the right, so you wouldn't want to remove that, really. On our left-hand side, we've got a gas fire. A uh, bit of rust on the front of that. Probably sand that down and tidy that up. Um, I think they have removed the laminate from this mantelpiece, and they're a bit below it. Because this sort of material is prone to the edging coming off and probably because of the heat from the fire above and below it it's come off so they've turned that into a painted bit to be honest it looks absolutely fine left as it is might need a bit of a tidy up along the bottom uh, we could get some paint and uh, tidy that up so that's not a problem sort of thing that we do as part of the service but equally sometimes people don't want those things done so uh, give us a call have a chat see what you want us to do large area here in the corner it's a big area actually you get a massive tv on there a lot of caravans you fit me with a 32 incher which obviously uh, is a bit small these days. But you get a massive telly on there in the corner, and then you've got shelving and a glass cover below for your uh, DVD player, um, if anyone uses one of those anymore. Uh, turning around then, we've got uh, the sofa, as I've already said, and um, fitted seating, little coffee table. Over in this corner, uh, it would be blank space if we had nothing fitted, but we do. Ta-da! We have a storage space, which is pretty big actually, so that's perfect for your board games. Um, uh, or your Scrabble set. Oh, sorry. Or maybe your magazines. Uh, might want to hide them in the corner there. Lots of things you can get put in there, which is ideal. And just spin around and show you the rest of this room as we look around. There's no curtains uh, in this van. That was standard, that there weren't curtains. We've got wooden fixed uh, Venetian blinds instead. Venetian? I think so. Venetian blinds, yeah. These are Venetian blinds, but wooden ones. So they are across this front room and dining area. So we come back up the caravan, we've got a dining table here. We've got four chairs. I know it's a three bed, so sleeps eight. So you might need a couple more chairs. Sleeps six, sorry, plus the sofa. So six chairs usually. Um, so you might need a couple more chairs if you want. And um, we can always have a look to supply those. Dining tables, probably seen better days, starting to chip off in places. Certainly eat off it, but um, equally you could have a new top on there. Um, fridge freezer, it might have probably had an integrated one at one point. Often when they fail, people take them out and put a freestanding one in because they are cheaper. Uh, so it's got a freestanding fridge freezer there. Got one exterior door that comes into this kitchen dining area, which is on, well, the kitchen area is on vinyl. The dining area is on carpet. Carpet needs a good hoover, and I think with a hoover, it probably would come up absolutely fine. Kitchen's a nice modern um, color with the ivory colors. Um, a cupboard door, sorry. Uh, lots of cupboard doors in and around the sink and the gas oven. Just to highlight over here, I think they've done, well, this is stuck down, just so you know. It's a piece of slate or like a slate chopping board. I imagine that they've had some damage done to the worktop and then they've stuck that down as an extension of the um, kitchen sink. I can't imagine someone did that just because they wanted more drying space. Maybe they did, but I'm just assuming that... Um, there was maybe a bit of damage done to the worktop. Either way, you're not getting it up anyway because it's stuck down, uh, but it does act as an extra space. You've got a bit of silicon down there. Um, so perhaps it was just for extra space for drying. Um, you never know. Um, but just highlighting that is there. Uh, doesn't really affect anything, but just wanted to point that out because it's not original. Um, so let's have a walk through. So we've got a dividing door between our hallway um, and bedrooms at the back there and then the, the living room where we've been. 
Carpet coming through here, a little bit worn, but absolutely fine to stay with a clean. Lots of doors because I was in here taking photographs and I left them all open. But if we come to the back of the caravan, so this is at the rear off side, the non-door side of the caravan, we find our main bedroom, which is a nice light bedroom because we've got a large um, sort of floor to ceiling window on the left hand side there. And we've got nice cupboard doors above and around, which are the same colour as the kitchen. Bedside tables and storage above. We've got little lamps on above the top there as well, which is a nice touch. And then turning, we've got a little vanity desk area with mirror. Shelves on the left-hand side for your um, cosmetic bits and pieces. Uh, or, you know, your trolls collection. And then over in the corner, we've got our wardrobe. So you've got a decent hanging space there. Shelf above, and then we've got some drawers below as well. So that's all good. Uh, got a lift up bed in here. Let's see if the arms are okay, or if I can't lift it. Ooh. Arms are just about okay, but I think the arms need replacing because that won't hold. But oh, sorry, but um, you can see there that you've got good storage underneath the bed, which is really handy to have. Next to the main bedroom on the right of it, then this is the rear door side of the caravan. We've got a twin room, cupboards over the bed there, bedside table. Floor to ceiling storage cupboard in here, which is a handy addition. Carpet in here is pretty tidy. Carpet in the bedrooms actually, I think it's the same carpet throughout. Um, I don't know if it's original or not, but bedrooms are fine. Hallways are right as well. It's just the living area. I think we've seen a few more shoes, a little bit more worn. Um, but again, not being hoovered yet. So uh, other twin room. This is on the off side of the caravan. We've got a drawer there in the bedside table. The front of the drawer is on the floor. It needs fixing back on. Um, so that's fine. Don't worry about that. Cupboard storage over the bed. And then another floor to ceiling cupboard here. It's worth highlighting actually. A lot of twin rooms you get a half cupboard. Um, so you don't get floor to ceiling cupboard. And you don't get that much storage over the bed either. So this is a really spacious. Um, well spacious three bed really. With a lot of storage. Um, so lots of storage in each of the bedrooms. Which is ideal. At the back here along the door side of the caravan. We've got a toilet and sink. And then we also have the second toilet and sink in the main bathroom here nice toilet and sink unit and then we turn got our shower on the left hand side it's a 50 50 door so it slides back to about the middle there as you can see and we've got a good size enclosure along there so a nice tidy bathroom in here vinyl in here is absolutely fine it's different to the kitchen so whether the kitchen was replaced or not i'm not too sure might possibly have been replaced when the carpets were done, but the bathroom is left as it is. So that's the inside of the caravan. Uh, let's have a jog around the outside. So we're outside the Swift Moselle. Having a look around. Needs a wash off. Only just drop, got dropped off a couple of days ago. So it needs a wash off on the outside. Um, but the front looks all clean of any damage coming down the offside here. Non-door side, got gas regulator as always. I do explain we do remove those prior to delivery, um, so that you can get one connected up by your gas safe engineer. Don't want to make it too easy for you to do it yourselves. Want to make sure everybody gets it connected up properly with a gas safe engineer and uh, keeps everyone safe. Uh, this has caused a bit of rust where it's probably been by the seaside, and this one's rusted on the panel. Try and clean that up. It probably needs respraying in just that area. So that's something we can look at doing for the purchaser. We usually have these sorts of colours because uh, we do a lot of that. Um, back of the caravan, this rear corner trim needs replacing. So that's fine, something we will do. A little dink in the back of the panel. I think it's had something fixed on the back there. As you can see, just needs a little bit of filler on there and uh, that will be sorted. No bad dents or anything like that though, it's just those couple of holes really to, to have a look at. But we're all good really across the rest of the panels. Dropping down, look at the chassis. It's a galvanised chassis, heavy duty thick one actually, it's a good chassis. So nothing wrong there, might have been by the coast and had a bit of surface rust but um, because it's galvanised it's absolutely fine. So that is our Swift Mazelle 38 by 12 3 bed from 2008 with double glazing, priced at 14865 any questions give us a call.